Andre has been a uh, mainstay with us. He's been one of our core guys here. I think that we're going to have him here, hopefully for the rest of his Major League Baseball career. Uh, it means a lot to this organization. I think it means a lot to the people who come to this ballpark. So without further ado, I would like to introduce and bring up Andre Ethier. Six years ago, Andre Ethier made an announcement at Dodger Stadium about his future with the team. Today, the former Dodger outfielder who donned Dodger blue for 12 seasons returns to Chavez Ravine with his family to celebrate his past. I've driven into Dodger Stadium as a player well over a thousand times and today was the first day driving in with my family, my kids in there, coming to a game on a game day, coming down that same route that I did, and like I said, a thousand times to come to the stadium and uh, this time was different because wasn't put on that uniform tonight. Yes. Oh, yeah, there's the trophy. You guys held that, remember? Definitely did feel a little weird, but at the same time, I, I would say, you know, right. It's right for, uh, you know, where I'm at, where I'm going. <laughs> hey. hey! How you doing? Congratulations. Thank you, appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Good. good to see you. Hi, how are you? What's going on? Good, 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 good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you also. <laughs> How you doing, bud? Yeah. How Everything you good? Do you want some tips about, uh, you know, retirement? Nice. Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just let me know. Remember, just from baseball. When people say, oh, what are you doing in your, you know, in your retirement? Are you kidding? Yeah. You got to work harder than ever? Yeah, out, exactly. Right? Yeah. You know, my parents put in 30 years, 30 hard years of, you know, getting to today and, for them to finally have that closure, it meant a lot. And then, you know, my boys, my boys were raised in the stadium. So just to have that closure for my family, for, you know, everyone who put in that extra time, who put up with my junk all these years, my crap of going through playing these seasons, it just, you know, it meant a lot for me to give that back to them to show, uh, you know, all that, all that sacrifice they made. I guess I made something of it. <laughs> A Phoenix boy who went to school at Arizona State and making his major league debut. Ground ball inside third and down the line. Andre on his way for two and he has come up with his first major league hit. He does it in his hometown and it's a double. Over his 12 year major league career, Ethier won a gold glove was selected to two All-Star teams and reached the postseason eight times, including his final appearance in a Dodger uniform. Deep here to the right side, base hit. Here comes Peterson. He will score five to one. I honestly knew that that was gonna be the last time he was gonna be at bat. I just knew it. To me, he went out on top. You wanna have a last at bat in your career? Make it a hit. And Get an RBI. <laughs> That's it. That's it. You make me cry. <laughs> I think for Andre to get to spend his whole career as a Dodger is a special thing. It doesn't happen near as much as it used to, and it'll probably continue to not happen that much. So uh, Dre will always have that, which is very cool. I mean, when you think about, you know, the Dodgers, you know, these past this past decade, you know, Dre is uh, one of those guys. I think he's going to be missed a lot by uh, all the teammates and, and all the fans. Everybody loved him. What up, baby? How you doing? I love you, man. Yeah, love too. <laughs> Andre, what is your favorite moment playing with Matt? You two are like... Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's so many. I can't believe... She, that's no if he If he's in the uniform, why can't I be, right? I mean, this guy... <laughs> I mean, wasn't that the <laughs> right? Folly yeah. championships. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the way they were talking, I thought he was gonna be sitting right next to me, but uh... <laughs> right, right. I, mean, I don't even know where to start. We met each other for the first time in September of 2005. You talk about your time as a, you know, as a kid in this game. I mean, 12 years. I mean, that's like. 
right? Kindergarten, I guess. <laughs> you know, it's like we came in, we're really good friends right away. We had a lot, a lot of the, the same ups and downs, and uh, we were there for each other's good times and bad times. And uh, we, we kind of kept each other sane too. Baseball is a, a tough sport, and uh, you need to have good friends around you to, to keep you motivated and keep you going. And I think we were there for, for each other. It was pretty special to, to be a part of that and to see that and, um, you know, get to say, say goodbye in the baseball world. If I, if I could have one thing I'd want to do again, I'd definitely play one more game with Matt. Definitely thankful for him being one of my wing guys all those years. Okay, what type of things do you, do you see in your future other than family activities? Honestly, I really don't know. I uh, started playing a ton of tennis. Yeah, you know, I would be lying. I, I would love to be out there playing. I mean, if Jock can get a hit, I can get a hit. Still, so. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's the, that's, that's the way I look at it. All right, thanks, guys. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Well, they don't eat anything. Yeah. They never eat. What's up, bro? Good to see you. Good to see you. Everything good? Okay. Huh? You good? Uh? Yeah, good. <laughs> Can't complain. Tennis, huh? Yeah. Playing tennis? Why not? Playing tennis out there in my PGs? Are you like, oh! <laughs> oh! I'm about to scream. Yeah. I'll see you in a minute. I'm about to go out. I'll see you out there. All right. All right. Boy said that you're going to catch him? Uh, yeah, yeah. Are they throwing out the first pitch? Uh, yeah, they're throwing out the first pitch. I'm, I'm, I am. I'm the right. opportunity. <laughs> hey, you talk so much. <laughs> What's up, Dre? What's going on? How you guys doing? Good to see you. What's going on? Hey, you're looking good. Good. Good to see you. Already? Did you, did you hear what I said in my interview? Did you hear what I said? I said, the, yeah, the guy asked me, he said, do you think you can still be playing? I said, there, if some of those guys out there can be getting hits, I can definitely be getting hits right now. <laughs> hey, were you wrapping up in there? I said, I could definitely. Jesus Christ, how long are you going to talk about your career for? <laughs> it was a good one. When Dre comes back, you just kind of remember the times that he was there. And honestly, what I remember most is him making fun of guys and how great it was. and how good he was at that and really kind of loosened up the clubhouse and um, just a fun guy to have around. <laughs> yeah, he's been nervous. I know, has he been nervous all day? <laughs> Did he have this, when they announced this, he's like, yeah, I thought it would feel different, but it didn't feel different. It felt the same, you know, seeing those guys and, and felt like, you know, nothing was different. But, you know, when you take a step back, you realize you're not a part of that core, that group of 25 that goes out there. Hey, so workout um, or no? No workout. What? Do you work out at all or no? Straight tennis. No. Work, workout, bodybuilder, men's fitness, how to get rock hard, workout. <laughs> Straight <laughs> tennis. Six yes. Minutes. Five and a half minute abs. Yes. <laughs> Let's take a moment to remember why both on and off the field, Andre will always be remembered as one of the great all-time Dodger players. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back to Dodger Stadium, Andre and Maggie Ethier and their children, Drayson, Retton, Everly, and Anson. I was thrilled, I was excited, I was proud. And it was just nice to have the whole family there and just really, because they all went through this journey, all of us went through this journey together and it was, I can't even begin to tell you how, how wonderful it is. And I don't want it to end. <laughs> Thank you so much, 12 years has gone by in a flash, but I have memories for a lifetime and I'm very thankful for it. And I can honestly say I'll always be a Dodger and I'm, I'm thankful for that. This night was 
not about me just going out there and getting my applause on the field. It was about my wife for all the time she put in these last, you know, 14, 15 years. My kids getting some closure, seeing that their dad has really done, even though I tell them I'm not playing baseball anymore. And then, of course, my parents, you know, 30 years. I, I've been playing baseball since I was five years old. It meant a lot for them to be here, be a part of this, and just show where, uh, I guess, kind of where their son has gotten to after those 30 years of, uh, you know, their support.